That works for me. All right, here we go. Thanks, GeForce Experience. Game capture. This one. Paradigm. Adventure. Look. What the fuck? Oh, God almighty. <sighs> Alright, it's fine. We're here now. We have everything working. I'm just not going to touch anything from here on in. Because if I do, shit's going to break. Oh. Tumor sense. Oh. Tumor curie chat. Vague hint system. Okay, cool. Um... What's... Can I have, like, a borderless window? No? Press J in-game to act activate creator commentary. Oh, nice. Windowed mode will take effect after relaunch. Ah, eh, whatevs. How does one play a game and not touch something? I'm not going to touch any of my stream deck or any of that sort of stuff. I'm just going to play a game. Oh, God, how... Did this open? I just wanted to play solitaire. I have no idea what an adventure game even is for the experienced adventure gamer. I'm an experienced. Right, let's do this. What is this? Remove removes hotspot toggle system and curry tumor cheats in system. You played a few point and click adventures in your time. Three headed monkeys and punny deaths are something you hold dear. Besides, who needs stupid words helping you with stuff? Hint systems are for plebs. You haven't really delved much in adventure games. Have it out. It's alright, I got you. Fuck no, we're going full. Let's go whole hog. At the end of the game, at the end of the day, I should say, I have the hint system of stream chat. Right? You guys have got my back? Let's do it. Oh, the production quality is fucking spectacular, isn't it? Is your child a failure? <laughs> Have they wasted years of their life acquiring an arts degree? <laughs> Do you make it rain on a regular basis? Only to spend it on your child's expensive taste and <laughs> bullshit coffee? Is your child just an asshole? <laughs> These are questions we ask every day. Here at Dupa Genetics, we have the solution. Prodigy Child, the fully customizable child of your dreams. The process is very simple. We gather your broken dreams. Mm -hmm. We combine it with our cutting edge genetic sequencing technology. Oh, very nice. And finally, our secret sauce. Ooh. And then, your prodigy child is born. Don't leave your child's success to chance. They can be a prodigy child in anything, such as scientist, bodybuilder, <laughs> wizard, and cat. <laughs> You know what to do. Do you really want to risk the embarrassment? Buy a prodigy child today. You won't regret it. Oh, Jesus. First one not recall is get nothing at all. Time to put on some beatsies. Oh, man. Ugh. I am so bored. I should probably make progress on my EP and make some beats on the computer. And not procrastinate, which would inevitably lead me to reevaluating my life decisions and weeping silently. <laughs> That's great. I've completely forgotten how to exist. <laughs> Um, would you like to talk? Nah, man, I'm, I'm good. good. I'll figure it out myself. Yeah, we got this. Thanks, though. I appreciate you. Uh, don't worry, bud. Good luck. If you need to, okay, I'll always check the menu again for the tutorial. <laughs> <laughs>
Hmm. It doesn't seem to be working. Oh. Just like the fashion combo of socks, sandals, and fanny bags. <laughs> What's your fault, your old man? Oh, yeah, fair jokes enough. only consists of puns. I should talk to John. He will probably know how to fix it. Okay. So, t talk to... Doesn't look like he's turned on right now. I need to turn him on somehow. How do we how do we turn him on? Don't you love it when your head chimer is trying to give you hints? I know. Alright, here we go. Cable use. I need some sort of adapter first. Jesus Christ. Hang on, I need to look at that. Damn it. That is a plug from the now disbanded Republic of Bushinska. I'll need some sort of adapter. <laughs> Alright. Um some sort of aha. Here we go. This could be useful. I'll put it into my inventory. If only people could adapt like this adapter. Robot human marriage. Hey Buzz, welcome adventure. aboard. Thanks for oh, the follow. Geez. I've forgotten how to use my pockets again. <laughs> uh huh. Touching the bottom. Of, I can't. Oh, I see. Like I can just do. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> what? What the fuck? Okay, that's cool. So, um, next. <laughs> so it's just I to get to your inventory, and then scrolling not available. And there's my adapter. And oh man, these spin when you mouse over them. Holy shit! This game is awesome. Why the fuck have I not played this before? Oh my god, the tutorial where you can combine a fish with a cigarette. Who the fuck... Who... Okay, here we go. It's, we're gonna use the... I need some sort of adapter. Oh, okay, alright, we need an adapter. Cool, cool, cool. So, now if I... Uh, inventory, and then this, and then... With the cable... Alright. It worked. What? Oh, mate, what do you unplug me for? <laughs> you know why. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I want to know why. <sighs> oh, Jesus. Um. <laughs> why isn't the computer booting? I want to make some fat ass beaties. Mate, with some of the filth I see in your internet history, I'm not surprised. It makes me kind of bored if I want to be a part of this world. Then I'll think about all the shillers who'd be gutted, and then I change my mind. <laughs> oh man, this game is so great. Ooh. Oh, Jesus. Um. Wouldn't it be unfortunate if I just tripped and unplugged you again? Don't worry, mate. I'm not judging you. It's a little bit messed up, but uh. <laughs> it's perfectly normal. For sick blokes such as yourself, anyway. I love how it's like meant to be an Australian computer, but it kind of sounds mildly New Zealandish. It's fuck. Oh, I love this. Real talk. Why isn't it working, mate? The operating system is bugged. Some uh, bloody hacker bloke mess with your system files. You're gonna need to wipe it and reinstall it using the recovery floppy disk. <laughs> Can't they just turn it on and off again? When did you learn advanced IT support? I was impressed. Top bloke. Congratulations. True blue. Amazing. Top wazza. Alright, I get it. Alright. Where can I find the recovery floppy disk? Alright. I'll search with my little Google here and check it out. That's weird. It only tells me where to find sexy singles in my area. <laughs> One little weird secret to get ripped. I always wondered what I'd look like with a six pack. Oh, just, just tell me what to get it. All right, mate. I love how it's oh, yeah. John three thousand Love Master two. I've got at least ten chat rooms and two internet dating sites to frequent night, <laughs> and I need you to get me in the zone. <laughs> how am I supposed to do that? I'm a little bit hurt you don't remember anymore. Ever since I had to roll back to version two point one, you can't even look in my eyes, Jordan. We already discussed this. You don't even have eyes. Seriously, what do you want? Use your imagination, mate. I need to maximize my sex appeal potential. One ton of copper wiring doesn't exactly swoon potential partners. 
except for Sweaty Salvage Men. <laughs> I'll tell you what, mate. I don't want any news from Sweaty Salvage Men tonight unless they look like sexy, sweaty ladies. Dig us up and out. Gross. Ugh. Such an irritating minor inconvenience. I just want to finish my new OP. Oh. Why? If you don't fix the computer soon, the power plant will melt down and everyone will be dead. Oh. I'll become seriously maimed, living their life in constant agony. Cheers, mate. There must be something in this room I can give him. Alright. So I gotta try and... <laughs> Jesus Christ. Um, Alright. So I gotta try and find the floppy disk. Bearded Beats. Oh. Bearded Beats. One of my favorite beard oriented bands. Although, not as good as Bearded Beauties. <sighs> he wants a robot body. Alright. What's What do we got here? One part of my record collection. I bought it for 10 euros from a talking dog. I think he hustled me. Before I knew it, I was rubbing his belly and playing catch. <laughs> oh, get rich or die of natural disasters. Awesome. Um, babe, I love you, but I'm a T-Rex. Guide to companionship for the futuristic lover. S to smooth jazz, online dating, texting, emoticons, and friend zones. Pluto, if only I was still a player. Oh, poor Pluto. If you were a square, I'd love all four sides. Oh. I love it. I reckon... I reckon old mate would... I'll, I'm just going to pick this one up. In the mood. This would get John in the mood. I mean, like, all of this could, right? Not that one. Ah, uh, Maybe. If you were a square, I'd love all four sides. I'm going to pick this one up as well. The record is missing from its slip. Oh. Name it, you hustling dog. How can I say, man, that you, you're so cute and fluffy? <laughs> okay. <laughs> I think I'm right with the first one. All right, so, John 3000, I'm going to... Can I... Love it. Can I use this? You know your tunes, Paradigm. Gonna slay so many circuits tonight. Anyway, you can find the floppy disk from a fellow named Space Cadet. That local drug addict guy. Ask nice. Doug outside for some directory dues if you can't remember. Directions? That's what I said. Well, directory dues. This will save the world, I guess. By the tone of your voice, you clearly don't understand the gravity of the situation. <laughs> All right, what are we going to say? Yeah, I understand we need the floppy to swap bodies and have wacky adventures experience in life from each other's perspective. That could be fun. Uh, ha 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 ha, yeah, I have no idea. <laughs> yeah, I have no idea, dude. I figured you wouldn't understand, so I'll prepare this paper mache earth for your benefit earlier. <laughs> wow, you've really improved on your paper mache craft skills. Great work, John. Cheers, mate. I really appreciate your support of my hobby over the years. Oh, God. Anyway, you see, Cobza, all the world's radioactive waste is stored under the crush. There is enough radioactive waste under this station for complete annihilation. As you probably know, Krush is world number one in the Brauben economy. Now, pay attention to that red dot. That's us. <laughs> oh, Kawabunk. <laughs> well, there's more options. The next day, you send another message to your friend. You get blown back after 24 hours. That means what? <laughs> awesome. Fire makes me want to commit senseless arsony. <sighs> That's the basic gist of the CISO. If you don't get that floppy, the CISO. Except for more, you can fall out, mutations, people died in agony, pine, suffering, not screwed on screaming. Also, my humans have like uh, two years to extension if this goes down. 
Alright. I should probably stop that. Piper Mache seems to always reject you, Pyridor. You should start selling these online. They're really great. Yeah nah 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 yeah nah yeah nah yeah nah. One day. But yeah, go see Dog Up Sword for some director news to space get it twice. Alright. Oh Jesus. So good. So good. I love this. Alright. What's in the red room? Wait, hang on. The record that John's listening to. The sexy record. Oh. I need this too. I wonder if there's a soundtrack for this game. Fuck that guy. Fuck that guy. Okay, let's go. Oh, Jesus Christ. Paper mache. Um, I used to let the hobo crash in there. I didn't check on him for a while. I soon found out he likes smearing things on walls. I don't go in there anymore. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> what? Oh. Alright, because I'm running in full screen mode, I can't tab out to turn the volume up on the game. I think the floppy disk is in his pants pocket. Warning, imminent complete meltdown is imminent. Yeah, like it when you talk to me dirty, except the I. Oh, Jesus Christ. You request it be, sir. Yes. I want, I want you to bring me Paradigm. After all this time, you want to bring it back? Yes, we need, we need... <coughs> Are you all returned? <coughs> I'm just going to, um... <laughs> I'm just going to let my face out. I hate you, father. Your insatiable urge for candy turned me into this monstrosity. Oh, Jesus. But don't worry. Your legacy will live on. <sighs> what the fuck? Why did you feel the candy bucket? <laughs> Stuck. Oh, what's going on here? Uh, external deactivated John 3000 terminal. Cool. A boiler. Boiler tiles. What's this then? There used to be a code to get inside somewhere around here. Then the game designer realized it was a terrible puzzle. He had better things to redesign, like poop jokes. <laughs> Paradigm soundtrack on SoundCloud. Uh, awesome. Ah, oh, thanks, Loco. John used to be active out here, but uh, I disabled the module because he kept telling passers-by to graffiti the phrase Paradigm sucks balls. Nice. Miniature unicorns fighting warrior pugs. Miniature unicorns fighting flying pugs power station. Naming by public vault is uh, never a good idea. Or is it the best idea? <laughs> I'm not sure. <laughs> To pay rent, uh, Doug sells his beatbox beats. Pretty good. Too bad there's like five people living here in Krush. And all of them are on government support. That's Doug. He is a beatboxing eggplant. Because he likes of to think he is from the vegetable patch of Biggie Smalls. I just think he is an asshole. <laughs> hey Doug, let's talk. Hey Prosofinos. What's up brolicious? Do you mind dropping some fat bitsies? Okay. Bite, <laughs> 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 
I'm digging it. Dope. Thanks, dude. Yeah, that's fucking dope. Oh, I got a chief for that. Is it? Is it? <laughs> I got a chief called Dope. That is some. I, I've got some respect for that. Uh, hey, tell me about Space Cadet. Know much about the Space Cadet? Who? All I know is that he is the local drug addict. Gold of Wakeney, 47 years old, uncomfortably apparent fetish for boxes. I guess that's him. Mm, I don't know much about him really, except he keeps asking for drugs in exchange for his boxes. <laughs> also, also blowjobs. <laughs> Lots of blowjobs. Ah, yes. Excuse me while I drown myself in a pool of bleach. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Did you consider the blowjobs? If I wasn't a droganist, I would probably consider it. It gets awfully lonely out here. <laughs> uh, what kind of drug addict? Uh, I think his drug of choice is space dust, I think. What the hell is that? Some say it's mines from the moon, but really it's just remarketed crack. <laughs> I okay. know where I can find him. Yeah, well, if you find me a map or something, I'll hook you up with the bits. A, a map? Um, Alright, what else can we do? Laters? How's the hustle going? How's the hustle going? The rent's due soon, and I've always wanted to try sentient eggplant. Come on, man. Give us a break. There are literally only five people living here. <laughs> All of them crazy. <laughs> Except for you, of course. I'm totally sane. Uh, alright, later. Um... How does it feel to be a vegetable for the rest of your life? I'm actually disgusted you'd make that joke. <laughs> but if you're serious, it feels pretty nutritious. <laughs> uh, alright, so I gotta get a map Peace, for bro. him. Peace, bro. Fucking hell. What's this, then? That's my mailbox. Almost always filled with online shopping regret. <laughs> can I... can I use? Hey look! I have new mail. Cool. I... uh... what? Another mailbox? <laughs> what? I guess I'll put it in my inventory. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> I ordered a mailbox online, I guess? Okay, cool. Uh, what does this do? Being this is a puzzle game, I would prefer to stay sober. Okay, fair, fair cop. Fair cop. Uh, how do we... where are we going from here? Go... oh look! See the graffiti up here? Tentacle from Day of the Tentacle? That's a nice nod. It's a nice nod to a classic LucasArts game. Uh, what was it? Purple Tentacle? Or was, no, it was Green Tentacle. That became the, the first one. Whoop. So, where are we going? I, I can't seem to leave the screen. And I need to find... Oh, maybe there's a map inside. Uh, no? Use? I need to give Doug some sort of map first. There must be something around here. Some sort of map. Okay. Uh, well, I have... A mailbox? Hey, there is something else in the second mailbox. Oh god. Oh, a third mailbox? <laughs> I've had enough of your games, Babushkin mailbox. <laughs> Alright, so I got another mailbox. <laughs> if there is another mailbox in here, I'm going to uninstall the game. Hey, there is a postcard in here with a bottle of vodka. Awesome. Pashevsky's vodka. The only vodka to guarantee 60% of your daily nutritional needs. Mm. And a 50% chance of unemployment. <laughs> Plus, postcard map says to press the letter M or use the slide up menu to use the map. Ah. Uh, oh, dear me. 
I don't think it would appreciate the sentimental value of a handwritten postcard from me. Especially an inanimate object. Alright, so... Oh... Paradigm's room. Uh-huh. And then there's Paradigm's shop. Junkyard. Question marks. Don't know. Something over here. Greetings from Krish. Alright. Doug. Uh, no. Inventory. This. Give to Doug. I have this, uh, Krush postcard. Will this work? Yes, I think that will work. You can find him in the bottom right in, uh, Krush Forest. Also, one last thing. Don't be surprised if he's not wearing pants. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, so... Oh, Jesus. What the fuck? I don't know if I can laugh this much. Space kid at home. Alrighty. Let's just take this in, shall we? Did that tree just flicker? Hey, <laughs> Buzzer, thanks for the host. I appreciate it. God damn. Alright. So there's a forest. There's an arcade machine called Planet Love. A strange pod-like spaceship. A crashed plane. Another nod, a strange cylindrical. Yeah, green tentacle. Oh, there's a little R2 here as well. And this guy's wearing like space hoppers on his feet. I love this so much. Space dust pleased. What is this? A bank notice. And a keypad. Space observatory. I'm just going to check out a few things. Wait, what does this say? The sign says, Please be aware of occasional satanic rituals in the forest. And more importantly, always remember to recycle. Open bracket. Satanic rituals aren't actually satanic. They are just info sessions run by a guy named Satan. Close bracket. <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm going to go ahead and guess then I'm going to probably pour the vodka into this guy's face. Pashevsky's Vodka. The only vodka to guarantee 60% of your daily nutritional needs and a 50% chance of unemployment. Love it so much. Uh, what's with this plane? Ah, the old crash plane in the forest trope. Wait, there's a sticker here. It says... Nicky Neck's replica crashed aeroplane. Their motto reads, If you have a lot of money, you might as well spend it. <laughs> Scally! <laughs> yes, very spooky. <laughs> oh, let's look at this guy. It seems to be some sort of a uh, rare artifact. Possibly from the copyrightious infringements era. <laughs> Legends say that the archaeologists who found the artifacts received the curse of cease and desist. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's what? Jeep organizer. Oh, I want this. Uh, pick up. Never take another person's jeep organizer. Uh -huh. It basically just locks your account immediately. Oh. I heard it from a friend. <laughs> All right. Let's talk to this guy. <clears throat> Hello? I'm pretty good, thanks, and you? Wow, that is nice to know. Tell the wife you're welcome at mine anytime. What a wonderful comatose man. I need to divert his attention somehow. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Um. Alright. Divert his attention. Can I use the busted TV? If I post this online, I could probably get internet points for it. Sorry, rat family. Your conveniently timed jokes will have to wait. Hopefully this gets his attention. Hey! That infomercial was just about to tell me how to grow an extra arm! Guaranteed! You truly are a monster. <sighs> oh, man. Alright. This game reeks of post-Soviet depression and cynicism. I feel right at home. I thought you would, Thrannon. 
And quite frankly, if I was going to continue playing um, Dwarf Fortress, I would have been full of depression and cynicism. Don't take that the wrong way. I just couldn't fucking figure it out. Flat out. Um, do you happen to have the recovery disc of Derp OS 3.1? Do you happen to have the recovery disc for Derp OS uh, 3.1? Would you happen to have space dust? No. Oh, his eye. And I have no idea what you're talking about. Uh, okay. <laughs> if I get this space dust, will you give it to me? <laughs> I'd also suck. <laughs> you can this could do fine. <laughs> I'm flattered regardless. Can you at least uh, prove you have it? Is this it? Well, that's a classic. Still relevant after 50 years. No, it is not. Was that Darude Sandstorm? Uh, what about this one? Paradigm Eat Cereal. <laughs> oh, Jesus. That is creepy. <laughs> I'm not sure I want to ask how you got that. Maybe this one? Yes. Yes. Give it to me. Not until I get some of that sweet, sweet, I can't believe it's not sugar. Don't you mean space dust? Yeah, whatever. <laughs> Same thing. <laughs> Are there any side effects? Uh, blurred vision. You also turn into a metaphorical elephant. And sudden combustion. Sudden combustion. That's a pretty big one. <laughs> Hasn't happened so far, obviously. <laughs> Frankly, I'm not sure how I'm alive most of the time. Oh god, okay, where can I find where some? Where can I find space dust? You can cook it yourself. Oh really? It's a meticulous process of gathering rock samples from the moon. Be wary of the man on the moon though. For reasons I don't want to get into right now. And then I forget the rest. Alternatively, you can get it from your local family drug dealer for the lowest prices. Guaranteed. Mainly because he murders all the competition. A true businessman. <laughs> alright. Can you show me where the drug dealer is at least? Oh, uh, please. Yeah, alright. Do you have a map on you? I do. Will this postcard do? I think so. Go to this place here. The little house on the mountain in the middle. <laughs> da 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 da. Okay, cool. Bring me that powdery heaven. I've already got the suppository prepared. Uh, uh. <laughs> then you can go on a spiritual journey with me to uncover the dark secrets of Krush. New original conspiracies? Yeah, want to hear about it? Uh, <laughs> um... <coughs> Long live the lizard people. Listen here, P. Diddy Diggum. <laughs> Paradigmy guy. Ever wonder why there's only like five or six of us living here? Vague memories of childhood? Unexplained scars? Large hemorrhoids that are impossible to get rid of? Obvious listening devices? Now. I won't know for sure till my next drug-induced coma, but I'm pretty sure that... <laughs> oh, gosh. Nothing but a figment of the imagination of terrible Dungeons & Dragons campaign. <laughs> We're nothing but a figment of the imagination of a terrible Dungeons & Dragons campaign. Valid. However... <laughs> My theory was that we were teenage mutant cutie boys. <laughs> Accidentally fell in the radioactive ooze, thus giving us amnesia. Ah. And trendy period relevant catchphrases. Ah. Now they are keeping an eye on us so we don't fight crime. Ah. Yours works too. Let's uh change the subject. Kawabungu! <laughs> what the fuck? Okay. <laughs> Teenage Mutant Teenage Cuties is actually a thing. Teenage, oh, it's Teenage Mutant Cutie Boys, wasn't it? 
Oh god, your outdoor area is amazing. Where did you get your ideas? Your outdoor area is amazing. Where do you get your ideas? Oh, it's nothing. Just a little something I saw on AC Magazine. Phonetically known as RC. What does the AC stand for? Addict chic. <laughs> Real innovators of fashion. <laughs> yep. They made poor hygiene sexy again. Oh, Was it Jesus. Ever? To a fashion pleb like you, probably not. Uh. What kind of facial product are you using? Your skin looks great. Kurkulowicz facial wipes. Thanks for asking. <laughs> Oh, God. All right. <laughs> I might need to leave now. This stench is too great. See you later. <laughs> <laughs> the fuck is this game? Seriously, this is like some kind of weird I'm fever not sure dream. That's how advertising works. Toddler baby men banking. <laughs> Hello, Cornelius. We are sorry to inform you that Duba Genetics has continued to cease pay paying for your mortgage. We would also like to emphasize that sending us your body hair in Ziploc bags does not count as payment. It is not black gold, as you refer, it to, uh, refer to it as. You have 30 days to leave the premises. Again, please, oh God, please, no more bags. Sincerely, Arthur Bork uh, Borvacow? Cool. Please don't let our baby body and face appearance fool you. We have years of experience. <laughs> I want to know what drugs the developers developers of pronounce it the V Sam's regular. Okay, thank you. I'm not good with. Oh my god. I want to know what drugs the developers of this game were on because this is just the most amazing thing hey, I have. I used to own this. I actually have the high score, causing me to be both a terrible and broke electronic musician. <laughs> <laughs> they probably talked to a crackhead in Russia. <laughs> I think it's actually crackhead Russian that was auto-modded. Crackhead's fine, and Russian is fine. But crackhead Russian? <sighs> we can't talk about that. What is this thing? It looks like some sort of uh, spherical spaceship. Sorry. Aww. Can, can we talk to you? Hello, spherical spaceship. Oh, okay, cool. I don't believe you. Hello, spherical spaceship. Okay. It is a sassy, a sassy spaceship. <laughs> Oh, God. Oh, and there's a camera up here as well, and... Where's this cable? By now, I should have cut Space Cadet's power. But that would mean I would lose my high score on Planet Love. <laughs> I can't ever let Peen24 beat me again. <laughs> can we... can we go in here? It's locked. Oh. Besides, I don't need to go inside to see more priceless box furniture. Hmm. Oh, yes, I'd forgotten about his cardboard boxes. It's very nice. Like, this sort of shelving arrangement here. I'm cool with that. I'm liking this. Glitching tree. Oh, my. It's a glitching tree. In Krush, it's considered good luck. Nothing like contemplating if your life is a computer simulation. This game does the fourth wall so fucking well. <laughs> 